Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to see approval process in Salesforce. Okay. Approval process is also one important concept in Salesforce. It is a kind of automation. Okay. So before moving on to the technical concepts of this approval process, let us first understand what is approval process. Okay. So this topic is going to be a series of videos. So in this video, we're going to discuss about what is approval process. Okay. So let us quickly jump to the slides and see the topic in detail now. Okay, so let us take up a small day-to-day -day example to understand the approval process. Okay, imagine that there is a college student. Okay, so the college student is actually in need of some kind of uh, leave. Okay, say for example, she is in need of some two days leave. Okay, so what she does is she is actually making the leave request to her immediate class teacher. Okay, the class teacher receives a request and she analyzes. Okay, so what is the reason for the leave? Okay, if the reason is going to be a reasonable one, she can actually give the leave, right? She can actually grant the leave, right? Say, for example, if the leave is not going to have a reasonable reason, she is actually going to reject the request, right? She is going to say no to the request, okay? So, that is what happens in our uh, college, right? So, usually the students will be making the leave request to their class teacher and based on the reason, it is going to be approved or rejected by the class teacher, okay? Because it is a two days leave, right? So, it is going to be dealt with the class teacher itself, okay? Now, let us see the same scenario in a different way, okay? Now, you have seen a small approval process here, Okay, the approval is actually uh, expected from the class teacher for a leave for a student, right? And the class teacher has the authority to say a yes or no based on the reason for the leave. Okay, because it is a two days leave, the class teacher has uh, got the authority to make the decision to provide the leave or to uh, not to provide the leave. Okay, so this is what happens in the normal uh, college student's life, right? So let us see the same scenario in a different way. Okay, see this, this scenario, now the same college student is actually in need of one month leave request. Okay, so she is in need of one month leave request. Now she makes the same leave request, leave request to her class teacher. Okay, the class teacher this time, she doesn't have the authority to grant the leave. Okay, because if you see here, the number of days is going to be one month. Okay, it's going to be a longer day, right? So she doesn't have the authority to grant the leave now. Okay, what she does is she actually passes this request to her senior management. Okay, she redirects the leave request to the senior management, which is nothing but the HOD, the head of the department. Okay, now the head of the department has got the authority to approve or reject the leave request of the student. Based on the reason for the leave, he will actually uh, approve or reject the leave request. Okay, so for example, if he is actually going to approve the leave, then he actually passes the approved uh, request back to the teacher and the teacher will be passing the information to the student that the request is being approved or rejected. Okay, based on the HOD's de decision. Okay, so this is what happens in the, uh, this kind of scenario. Okay, wherein you are actually in need of two approvals, right? The college student is in need of two approvals. Okay, one from the class teacher, the other from the HOD, right? So this is actually a two-tier kind of approval process happening here. Okay, here a two-tier kind of approval process is happening here. So this is also an approval process. Previously, we have seen one more approval process for two-day leave request, right? So this is for one-month leave request, okay? So this is all actually a kind of leave approval process in our day-to-day -day life, okay? Now, let us see a scenario in a business, okay? Now, we have seen this approval process for a college student, right? Now, we are going to see one more scenario for the business, okay? So imagine that there is a client. Okay, there is a client or customer and there is a party, a birthday party. Okay, and he is in need of some 50 pizza for the birthday party. Okay, so he is actually trying to place an order for a pizza of 50 pizza to the pizza shop. Okay, now this sales rep of this pizza shop receives an order for 50 pizza for a birthday party. Okay. So, this client is actually requesting some special discount, okay, because he's placing some 50 pizza, right? So, he's actually expecting some special discount, okay? So, the sales rep doesn't have authority or he doesn't have any kind of privilege to give the special discount to the client without consulting his manager, 
okay without consulting his manager or without getting the approval of his manager he will not be able to provide the discount to his client so what he does is he will actually pass this request to his senior manager a manager okay there is a manager he will actually uh, pass this uh, discount approval request to his manager the manager will actually check the request okay if he is actually okay with the request and he will actually provide a yes or no kind of approved or rejection okay he can actually approve the request or reject the request based on some kind of uh, scenarios or various factors okay so let us go with the positive note so imagine that the manager is actually approving the request okay so once he approves the request the pizza will be delivered to the client with the rec with the discount okay with the discount he will be receiving the pizza okay the 50 pizza will be delivered to the client okay so this is what happens in a business so this is also an approval process okay this is also an approval process wherein the uh, sales rep is actually not having the authority to give the discount to a particular client he is actually expecting a approval to provide the discount from his manager okay so now the approval actually request is passed to the manager and the manager is actually uh, deciding to provide or not to provide the discount okay this is also one kind of approval process happening in a business okay let us now switch over to one more scenario in the same business okay so let us imagine that there is a corporate company okay there is a corporate company and it is going to celebrate employees day okay imagine that there is a corporate company and they are going to celebrate employees day so the senior management they have decided to provide pizza to all the employees in their company say for example they want some 1500 pizza okay so they have actually placed the order for 1500 pizza with the pizza shop the sales rep receives the order for 1500 pizza for a corporate party this time also the corporate company expects some kind of discount okay because they are actually placing some 1500 pizza the number is going to be higher now okay so they are expecting some kind of special discount okay so now this sales rep doesn't have the authority to provide the discount so what he does is he actually makes the request to the manager okay this time the manager also doesn't have the authority to sanction the approval immediately so because the number is going to be 1500 right the number is going to be higher okay here you can see here it is 1500 okay so what he does is he will actually pass this request to his senior manager okay this time the approval process is going to go to two levels right so first level is going to be the manager and the second level is going to be the senior manager okay the senior manager will take the decision whether to give some discount or not okay so he can actually either approve the request or reject the request okay so imagine that he's approving the request okay so if he is approving the request the manager actually receives the approval and then the manager will then approve the uh, he will also he if he is actually satisfied with that also he will also approve the particular uh, request and then the bulk pizza will be delivered to the corporate uh, company okay so this is how this is also actually a one kind of approval process happening the same company in the previous scenario they were actually facing the similar kind of approval process scenario wherein the order was for 50 pizza when the number increased the level of approval has to go for one more level right so based on the business needs the approval is going to going to go to different levels of role hierarchy okay so this is also an approval process okay so what we have seen in this video is what is approval process okay approval process is nothing but you are going to give some kind of approvals to your sales reps to process the business okay so this is the approval process so next video we'll be seeing the approval process in salesforce okay now we have seen the concept of approval process happening in a business okay so this is what happens so in the next video we'll be seeing what is approval process in the context of salesforce okay so let us meet in the next video okay thank you if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses
to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing a salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh trained and placed from our side you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you